Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this new video tutorial, lesson 19, you're going to learn how to read user input. You're going to use a simple technique and a more advanced one using formatters. Let's get started. User input. Reading user input from the console is important because it allows the interaction between the user and the program. When considering user input, Think about the format you want to request it. One word or multiple inputs separated by space or new line. Whatever approach you choose, make sure to clearly communicate it to the user. FMT.scan The FMT package not only allows us to print to the console, but it can also be utilized for reading user input. The FMT library is a built-in function scan which we will use in this tutorial to retrieve user input example one reading one input the scan method by default reads one input from the user let's write an example how to gather user input using the following code inside the main.gold file let's type package main then the import the fmt package Let's write the func main and inside this function, let's type. First, let's declare the variable user input of type string. Then let's use the fmt.scan method. Inside this, I'm going to type end user input. And then let's print in the console the value that the user uh, typed so fmt dot print ln let's put a message user typed and then the user input it's important to note that inside the scan method the string user input has been passed as a reference using the and operator this is because the scan method will modify the variable that it's passing inside this method let's try the code open the terminal new terminal main.go and then type run go run main.go now we need to insert something so let's put like uh, my name Perfect, so we can see in the console, user, typed, and the name. Example two, reading multiple inputs. We can pass multiple arguments to the scan method, allow us to collect more than one input from the user. Inputs are separated in the scan function using commas, as we will see in the following example that you are going to write. Let's close the terminal. Let's clean the code and then let's put other two input. Input one and input two of type string. And then using the fmt.scan, we're going to put inside the method the operator and input one, comma, operator input two. Then let's just concatenate the two inputs. So user input will be fmt dot s printf and then percentage s percentage s and then input one and input two. And in the console we are going to print fmt dot println user type and then the user input. That will be the concatenation of input one and input two. Again, it's important to note that input one and input two, thanks to the AND operator, are passed as separate argument to the essence scan and as reference. When this code is run, there are two options for the user to input their data. They can either enter the values separated by space or by using a new line. Let's try. 
open the terminal type go run main.go so let's put the first input put like hello then I'm going, to, I'm going to put a space I'm going to put golang and then you can see user type hello golang new line let's use the new line go run main.go now hello and new line golang we can see the same result user type hello golang scanf so far we have learned how to fetch user input using both spaces and new lines as separators but what if we need to collect specific information from the user like a number or an identity social number or a ABNA with a specific format. To achieve this, we can use the scanf function will accept formatters. By using formatters, we can extract the desired part of the user input and assign it to the desired variable. Let's write a specific example. Let's close the terminal. Let's clean the function main. Let's imagine you want to collect the A, B, A, A, for example, FR, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this one will be, be an input of uh, uh, the country. It's a string and a number. It's an integer. So to do that, I'm going to write var country string will be the FR. And then var, I'm going to put it account number of type int. Then I want to fetch the fr as country and this number as account number. I can do this using the fmt.scanf. And then I need to put what? The formatter, because it's take the format and then the input. So the format will be percentage to s so to string fr and then percentage d just number and then country and account number then i'm going to write the aban as fmt dot s printf printf as concatenation of the string and the number where the string is the country and the number is account number of course here i need to put the um, end operator and then i'm going to print in the console fmt dot print ln user typed the a, B, A, N, and then the variable. Perfect. The key part is the first argument of the scanf function. This specified to take the first two characters as string and the rest of the input as number. Let's try open the terminal and type go run main dot go now let's type fr then nine eight seven six four five three two one user type the ibn so fr and then the number let's try using a wrong input like fr uh, ta, and then see user type and we got an error we haven't really catch the error but we can see that uh, uh, the program crashed in this tutorial we learn how to read user input using the scan function provided by the fmt package with one or more parameters we also see in action the scan f function which accept formatters and extract the desired part of the user input and assign it to the desired variable. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. 
and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.